Hi, fourth graders. We are on Lesson 35's exit ticket. You will need page 473. So today we talked about using the associative property to multiply a whole number and a fraction. And so this first one, we sa it says solve using the unit form. And so when I think about units, remember that tells me I'm going to use the word names. And so I'm just going to rewrite this using our word unit form. And I'm going to say five times two thirds, and that's where that unit comes in as my word. Now remember the associative property tells me that I can group my numbers together. And I'm just gonna do that right here. I'm going to group those together and that tells me how I will multiply. So now friends, I want you to finish and find the answer. And remember in unit form, you need to have thirds. So you just need to put your answer in front here. Number two, it just says solve. So we can use, instead of using unit form, we can just use our numbers. And so as I, re as I look at this problem, 11 times 5 sixths, I know that the associative property tells me I can group that 11 and 5 together. I'm going to pull that out. And then I'm going to multiply it by the 1 sixth that I replaced since I pulled that 5 over here. And now I have a 1 sixth left. Okay, and so now I'm going to think about what is 11 times 5 and that would be times one sixth, okay? And then my answer is going to look like this. I'm going to have six in the denominator, and then I'm gonna pull this number here that's missing. 11 times five will be here in my numerator. So finish up your exit ticket, snap a picture, and submit it when you're done. Great job today.